Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sunday Omni. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. This way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video on my channel. So in this video, an update regarding Jalen Banks, Fallon Pina's fiance, calling out her ex-husband, Dirty Simon, because he made some posts claiming that the welfare of their child is basically in his hands. He is providing for their child, which I thought was very disrespectful. So the father responded, who is Jalen Banks, and is basically exposing Dirty Simon and much more. Wow, you guys, there's a lot happening today. Um, okay, so Jalen Banks, writes on um, Instagram and says, Iori, this is uh, Dirty Simon's middle name. Iori, let's get one thing straight, he says. My child, and he puts this in caps as well because it's his child, it's not Dirty Simon's child, okay? So he says, my child is good over here. Nobody is living off your little chump change. If you really wanna get down to facts. Oh yeah, did you forget that it was your child's birthday yesterday? because you sure as hell wasn't at his party last night, but was getting a whole female name tatted on you. Simon, stop playing with me because I really can start embarrassing you. We didn't learn a lesson? Who was supposed to teach us a lesson? Ooh, you guys, blogger Jalen Banks is speaking out. He is now blogging his situation with Dirty Simon because he's referring to himself as a blogger as well now. That's his new title on his Instagram. And he is basically sharing everything now. Him and his fiance, Fallon Pina. Check out my previous videos that I did as well regarding this i wanted to do a video about um simon getting portia williams tattoo uh her name tattooed on his back now it was first portia that got his middle name tattooed on her neck and i told you ladies please don't do this do not do this unless you are working in the streets and you need to be labeled uh by you know the man that is your manager out in the streets i'm choosing my words carefully if you know what i mean then i understand because in certain industries you need to be tatted up people need to identify you out in these streets if you're a woman working for the man in the streets okay but if you're just someone like portia williams who's a celebrity you know who has a lot going on for her getting someone like dirty simon's name on your neck just oh my goodness it's a no-no and now all of a sudden he got her name on his back by the way, some people are saying, why does he have her name on his back, but does not have Portia Williams' names attached to the homes that they have allegedly? They just moved into a new home, but allegedly the home in Costa Rica, Portia Williams' name's not there. So this man can ask this woman for money, 50-50, you know, relationship that they have going on here. Um, but he can just put her name on his back, but not put her name on any deeds and stuff. This is a concern that some of us are having in this tribe is like, we're not even really sure that her name is documented on any paperwork or anything with him. Uh, they're not even legally married to you guys. He won't even set a date. Well, allegedly they set a date, but I have a feeling like they may not even go through with everything, but let's just see what happens moving forward. Jalen Banks claiming, well, I'm not even gonna say claiming, <laughs> It was Simon Gabadia's child's birthday. Am I surprised that Simon was not there? No, I'm not. Because remember, Fallon Pina, his third ex-wife, has told us in her interviews that she's done with YouTube star Tisa Tells that this man is not proactive with his family life or in his children's lives either. I've also talked to credible sources who've also confirmed this statement that he is not a man that values family. He just uses his children pretty much as like accessories whenever necessary. This is not something that important to him. And let me tell you what started all of this. It was Dirty Simon that started all of this. And now he's getting exposed by Jalen Banks and Fallon Pina. He started this by telling black men that they need to respect their women privately and publicly as well. And he was basically writing this post as a way to kind of like shame Dennis, 
who is his fiance's ex fiance. <laughs> you guys, what a mess, right? Telling these people's life stories, it's not easy. It really isn't. I have to sometimes just take my time first before I do these videos because there's just too much information. <laughs> Just too much. It's so messy, right? So his current fiance, who is the former uh, star of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Portia Williams' ex fiance's name is Dennis, and he's trying to embarrass him, okay, and put him down on social media. And so he he was just trying to use this as a teachable moment to warn black men that they have to be respectful you know, to black women privately and publicly. And we all know that this man was disrespectful to his wife, ex-wife, Portia, sorry, not Portia. Well, she will be an ex-wife in the future too, but um, his latest ex-wife, which is Fallon Pina. Um, we saw that in 2021, how this man was trying to destroy her reputation publicly and privately making up lies as well because he's the one who filed for divorce and decided to leave his ex-wife Fallon Pina um this was December 18th I believe 2020, 2020. All right. So he decided to leave the relationship and he didn't leave the relationship based on cheating. He left the relationship because he did not like her family. He did not want her to do have anything to do with her mom, her sister or her brother and was saying that her family members are um, people with bad energy. Um, they have really bad spirits and stuff around them. And um, she needs to deal with her trauma from her childhood. And yeah, that's what he was saying. He was still claiming that he still loved her, even while he was engaged to Portia Williams, you guys. Um, April 14th, 2021, while this man was engaged to his new fiance, Portia Williams, he was still thinking about his ex wife, Fallon Pina. This man called Fallon Pina the love of his life. Anyway, there's going to be more to come. In this video, I just wanted to tell you guys that, you know, here is proof once again that Simon would rather get a tattoo of a woman on his back than be there for his child and put together a birthday party or spend time with his child. I believe this to be true. And there's just going to be more to come let's see what unfolds because you know this man is getting exposed 2022 is the year that the penas are going to be coming out with their receipts Fallon's already shared her receipts Jalen Banks also has receipts and it's it's coming out you guys it's really really messy but it is what it is we're here to cover it because they want to be in the blog so we're more than happy to deliver we have a whole catalog if you're new to this channel and you want to learn more about this toxic relationship and this leading man dirty simon then be sure to check out my playlist that i have called the real housewives of atlanta where you can find out more details and be up to date and understand why here in this tribe we think this man is dangerous we don't think that this is a man that anyone can trust we also believe that portia williams is in trouble um she's totally clueless she does not realize that she's going to be next and she's going to be the target Anyway, I know that if she sees these receipts that um, Fallon Pina has shared, Simon needs to be careful because Portia is going to attack him next. And she has a history of attacking people. She just recently attacked a senior, her mother's grandma, and also um, her ex-fiance, uh, Dennis as well. So we've seen this all on her spinoff. There's just going to be just a bunch of mess in 2022, but they're finally starting to get exposed one receipt at a time and we're here for it you guys thank you so much for watching and thank you for listening to another view to all my subscribers who are connected with me on instagram who send me stories tips articles videos i really appreciate you guys so much thank you so 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 much i really love engaging with you guys and i appreciate that we have the same views on a lot of this stuff that we still see things the way we see it and we've never changed our mind over a year later we still see dirty simon as dirty simon this man has not changed at all he claims that he's done over 172 hours of therapy and that he is healed he has not any man that tells you to distance yourself from your family members is wrong okay um unless your family members are like you know creating harm for you which i don't believe fallon pina's family members were doing any of that that's just a form of isolation and a way to control someone 
all right another thing as well a father that would rather get tattoos 60 year old man going out getting tattoos of uh portia williams on his back but ignores that it's his child's birthday what kind of father is this and this is a man who's giving life lessons on instagram give me a break you guys this is just is unreal so unreal anyway until our next conversation connect with me on instagram at sunday omni and check out the video description i'd really appreciate your support get your copy of my ebook it's called more than good enough if you'd like to get to know me more i help women see another view take care of yourselves and stay safe cheers